Revealing testimony in the Brent Christensen trial with his ex-wife taking the stand today. The former U of I student is accused of kidnapping, raping, and killing Chinese scholar Ying Ying Zhang. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is live outside the federal courthouse in Peoria. And Tim, some tense moments in court today. Yeah, Erica, Christensen's eyes stayed locked on his ex-wife for most of her testimony. His defense team called her to the stand in an effort to paint Christensen as a man with mental health and emotional issues. Prosecutors believe he killed Ying Ying Zhang in the apartment the couple shared. Michelle Zortman describes her ex-husband as a man with a bad drinking problem that derailed their marriage. The day Ying Ying Zhang went missing, Zortman was out of town on a trip with another man to the Wisconsin Dells, the same spot where she and Christensen went on their honeymoon. He was upset about it, she testified today. When she returned home a couple days later, she says Christensen showed her a blood stain on his mattress that she had not seen before. He said it was a nosebleed, she said, later adding, it was sizable. Prosecutors have not said which stain that is, but they have shown pictures of stains as evidence, and they said the FBI found Zhang's DNA on Christensen's mattress. His ex-wife testified that the Monday after Zhang's disappearance, she saw Christensen leave their apartment with a huge duffel bag, but it didn't appear much was inside. Prosecutors argue it could have been carrying clothes or other evidence. Weeks later, Christensen attended a memorial walk for Zhang with his ex-girlfriend. She was wearing a recording device for the FBI, and the night of the walk, she recorded him describing in graphic detail how he raped and killed Zhang. His attorneys are trying to attack the credibility of that recording. Christensen's ex-wife testified that she picked him up for a ride that same night and said he was noticeably drunk. Prosecutors also played a tape of him describing his drinking and depression at a University of Illinois counseling session in March 2017, months before Zhang's disappearance. He said he was fascinated by serial killers and had thoughts of hurting others but never followed through. I've always been interested in the bad guys, he said. Zortman said things were never the same between her and Christensen after he shared his scary thoughts with her in late 2016. She didn't want to sleep in the same room with him anymore after that. Closing arguments start Monday, and then the jury will decide whether Christensen is guilty. Live in Peoria, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.